Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Logitech mouse that is not working properly. These will be some easy fixes to try first and this will be a tutorial for beginners. Once again, this will be a very simplistic tutorial for absolute beginners showing and telling you about some easy fixes to try first if your Logitech mouse is not working properly. Let's get into this instructional video. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet and this is sort of a blanket video in the sense that you know this is going to en encompass many different problems. If it's not working properly, whether the cursor is not moving, it's not clicking, it's not turning on, you could try these fixes and hopefully they're going to help you out. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. There are five fixes to try out. Let's get into this and like I said, I'm going to just sort of go through this quickly. So take notes, listen and you know try it out with your own mouse hopefully you can get it working again uh, working properly again so let's get into this fix number one okay so fix number one is to replace the batteries if it is a wireless mouse once again fix one is to replace the batteries if it is a wireless mouse so if it's a wireless mouse like this flip it upside down open up the compartment over here you're gonna see a battery just take out the battery and replace that battery with a fresh one even if you even if you think the battery still has a charge just replace it with a fresh one this way you can sort of rule it out as being a potential problem if that doesn't help you out move on to fix number two fix number two is to look under the mouse for a reset button and if you find the reset button, if it's there, then hold the reset button for five seconds or more to reset the mouse. So you want to look under the mouse for reset button. I don't believe that this one has a reset button, but many of them do. You want to look for the reset button. You can sort of look in the battery compartment, look around. And if you find the reset button, then hold down the reset button for about five seconds or a bit longer. And that will uh, hopefully reset the mouse. And you're going to obviously have to, you know, potentially set it up again. But give it a try because that will hopefully help you fix the problem. Sort of like, like a factory reset type of idea. It, it might, might work differently depending on the specific mouse model, but just try it out. It's worth a try if you're willing to uh, potentially have to set it up again. I'm, I'm not sure. It depends on the mouse, but, but try to reset it if you can, okay? If that doesn't help you, I'll move on to fix number three. Fix number three is to spray the mouse with compressed air to clean it. Once again, fix three is to spray the mouse with compressed air to clean it. And you want to spray the mouse basically all over. So you want to spray inside the buttons, inside of the scroll wheel, underneath, in the battery compartment too. And you know, by spraying it with compressed air, you're going to clean it up and you're going to sort of hopefully fix the problem if it's a matter of dirt or grime or crumbs or whatever getting caught in there, okay? If that doesn't help you, I'll move on to fix number four. Fix number four is to unplug and plug back in the USB receiver for the mouse. And if you have the USB receiver, it's going to look something like this, okay? So once again, fix number four, okay? Fix number four is to unplug and plug back in the USB receiver for the mouse. And it might be for the mouse itself, or it might be for the mouse with a uh, sort of with a mouse and keyboard combo, okay? So basically, you might have a USB receiver like this, and it could be for the mouse itself. This one is for a mouse and keyboard combo. So whatever USB receiver is associated with the mouse, whether it's just for the mouse itself or for a mouse and keyboard combo, unplug it, plug it back in, and you can even try unplugging it and plugging it back into a different USB port, because that will, you know, accomplish two things. If you, if you unplug it and plug it back into a different USB port, you're gonna solve, you're gonna accomplish the the, the method of unplugging and plugging it back in, but you're also going to accomplish the method of trying a different USB port. So I recommend trying that out. And you know, because sometimes your USB port just just doesn't work. It just stops working. It's happened to me on my old computer a few times. It just happens, right? It even happened on my dad's computer. So you're going to rule that out. And if that doesn't help you, out, if that doesn't help you out, I'm trying to go too fast here. If that doesn't help you out, you're going to move on to the last fix for this video, which is fix number five. And fix number five is to simplistically restart the computer or laptop. So once again, fix five is to restart the computer or laptop that the mouse is associated with. Restarting the computer or laptop is honestly like one of the best things that you can do because it's going to solve so many potential problems. Um, so just restart it and give it a try. And hopefully that helps you fix your mouse. Um, and that's basically it. I tried to keep the video short and sweet and hopefully you liked it. If you enjoyed this video tutorial with these easy steps for fixing your Logitech mouse, if it's not working properly uh, or not working at all, if you like the video about this topic, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.